good morning everyone myself mandakini khatavi assistant professor chemistry department in j societies shri k lokapur art science commerce college athani okay now we are discussing about the determination of barium as a barium sulfate before going to this i want to discuss some basic points that is this is the best example for the grammatic analysis now what is grammatic analysis grammatic analysis is the quantitative chemical analysis that involves the determination of the constituent by weighing is called the grammatic analysis okay this grammatic analysis involves following steps that is main seven points are there first one is preparation of the solution next separation of the substance next digestion or heating next filtration and washing the precipitate next drying and ignition of the precipitate weighing dried or ignited precipitate next one is calculation of the constituents these all are the main gravimetric analysis involves the following steps now this determination of barium as a barium sulfate aim is to determine the amount of barium as barium sulfate present in a given solution next apparatus watch glass beaker funnel silica crucible desiccator etc next chemicals required concentrated hcl next 5 percentage of h2so4 solution that is sulfuric acid solution next okay let's start the practical these all are apparatus we are using for this practical okay this one is the given sample that is barium chloride sample in 250 c 250 cc volumetric flask to so this solution we have to add distilled water up to this mark okay i will adding the distilled water up to this mark Distilled water to that sample. Next is shake well. This solution. This is the our given sample. From this sample, we have to pipette twenty five cc of this solution by using the twenty five cc of pipette. See, this is the twenty five cc of pipette. We have to pipette. barium chloride solution next step we have to add for this solution 75 cc of distilled water For boiling, I am kept that 
solution. Okay, like I am adding this H2SO4 solution to the boiling solution. That is, by adding this H2SO4 solution dropwise, by stirring well. We have to add dropwise this concept H2SO4 solution. how the filter is going there and all the particles means settle on the filter paper after this we have to wash this one by using hot distilled water this is previously I am boiling this this is the hot distilled water. I am washing this filter using hot distilled water. Because hot water use using yummy because all the sulfate ions and chloride ions become separate. Next step is this one. I am putting this one on a hot air cone for drying. See, this is the hot air cone. I am putting this one on this for dry. Is dried on. Now it is dried on hot air cone. See here how it is. Okay. Next, I am draining this one. Filter paper slowly and putting this filter paper on the previously wet crucible. Like this. This is the wheel and the crucible. Next one is, I am keeping this one on the electrical bunsen burner. I am keeping this one by using the holder. See how it is. Okay, this is the yield in crucible. See how it is. After 5 minutes dying, this is looks like this type see the product this is the electrical function burner it's about 90 degree celsius now i am keeping this one in the desiccator for cooling process see how i am keeping that one I have to keep this one like this. Now it is cooling process. 
this is the last process of this practical after the cooling we have to weigh that crucible with residue and mention that one in the observation table this is the observation what we are observed in practical that is weight of the empty crucible w1 that is 17.83 gram next one is weight of the crucible plus residue that is w2 18.08 gram next final weight of the crucible residue that is w2 minus w1 that gives 0.25 gram next one is calculation how we are calculated first one is weight of the residue that is barium sulfate w2 minus w1 that is 0.25 gram next one is amount of barium present in 25 cc of the given solution that we are considering x w2 minus w1 into 0.5887 gram next that value is 0.147 gram next one is amount of barium present in 250 cc of the given solution that is we have to multiply into 10 that is x into 10 1.47 gram next one is amount of barium present in 1 dm cube that is 1000 cc of the given solution that is x into 4 that is 5.885 gram next one is result result weight of the residue that is barium sulfate is 0.25 gram next barium present in 25 cc of the given solution is 0.147 gram amount of barium present in 250 cc of the given solution is 1.47 gram next amount of barium present in 1000 cc or 1 dm cube of the given solution is 5.885 gram thank you